Also, it is paused. Oh, that, that might still be a bit loud. Let me turn that down. Extrapolating would mean 150 playthroughs. Well, they're not all going to be the same length, let's be honest. And I'm probably doing like a short, shorty playthrough every Thursday. That could be 51 or 52 right there. Alright, so I looked at the uh, Metacritic for the GBA version of the Polar Express. There's only been three critic reviews. So, there's no actual Metacritic, only a user score. The user score, hey there Joker, out of 10, is 2.3. So let's take a look at the critic reviews. One gave it a, a score of 60. Get, like, Nintendo Power gave it 60. GameZone gave it 45. And my gamer gave it 30. This is not a good sign. But I don't know, maybe my experience will be better. Let, let's try it out. Go to new game. Surprise, motherfucker! Alright, our, our name is Ass. <laughs> hey there, Cole, good to see you. Christmas Eve. A boy lies perfectly still, cause he's dead. I mean, waiting for the sound he fears he'll never hear. The ringing bells of Santa slay. Tick! Tick! Ellipsis. The Polar Express. Yeah, that's the game I'm playing. Oh my god, look at that thick black outline around the, the portraits. All aboard! Well, you coming? Where? By the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. You know what kind of train this is? Huh? It's a magic train. We're going to the North Pole. Of course it's a magic train. But what kind? Tickets, please. That guy sure likes to show off with this hole puncher. Who requested this game? I think you could take a look at the retro list. It'll tell you who. Hey, wait a minute. We're headed to the other side of the tracks. Just another pickup. Well, you coming? We've got a schedule, you know. Toot toot. Wait. Why do all the kids have large ears? Oh, your sister knows one of the actresses in the movie because they went to school together. Interesting. Hey! The kid wants to get on the train! Come on! Run! We gotta stop the train! There! The emergency brake! I was wondering when I'd ever get to play. Press and hold the control pad in the direction of an obstacle. Then press the A button to jump over. Hey there, Bragg. A candy cane. Try to collect all of these in each level. How many are there in each level, then? LRR don't seem to do anything. Well, you can crawl. Oh, hold on. Another tutorial. Hold down the R button to run faster. Oh, it's for dashing. Hey there, Lunar Phantom. Good to see you. And you can ledge grab. There's gotta be something I can raise these. When jumping next to a ledge, press control pad in the direction of the ledge and you climb up. A sleigh bell. Collect all three of these and take them to the exit to complete the level. Oh no. It's a 2D collectathon. When the Christmas tree lights up, you'll restart back here rather than at the start of the level, if something goes wrong. You're struggling? Oh, well, this is not a good sign for me. Yes! That's an extra try! 
Okay, that's probably just the crawl tutorial then. Is there a boy you already know how to do it? I'm not gonna tell you shit. Well, at least there's no fall damage, so there's that. Ah, speaking of Christmas trees, our work finally put our ours down. I didn't know I could just take damage from that. Yum! Hot chocolate! When you're feeling low on energy, one of these will make you feel good as new again. Alright, well, I'll just leave the other one there. Well, hopefully nobody loses our luggage on this train. Press the A button while running to do a longer jump. Be careful, though. It's longer, but not as high, so you might not be able to get over some obstacles and hazards. Oh? Okay, I, I see how this works. So you go farther with a long jump, but you don't go higher. Huh? Oh, that was steam? I thought that was a diamond. Oh, that, that wasn't graphically distinct at all. Mm, I might as well try to get all the candy canes to see what they're for. Hold the B button to grab a box, and press left or right on the control pad to move it around. Oh, it's gonna be these kinds of puzzles too, huh? Oh. Let me pull it a little bit more so I don't get stuck. I guess it's like not a very new GBA game for its time. So the graphics weren't exactly that polished. Like later on, GBA games got a little bit better with their uh, graphics. How the hell is this train still going with that many steam leaks? Ah, son of a biscuit. There's the emergency brake. Yeah! And now we'll freeze to death. The end. There's 960 candy canes in the entire game? Holy shit. That was close. Want to sit here? All right, who pulled the emergency brake? He did. But all he did was stop the train so that kid could get on. No more emergency stops. Now, who would like a little refreshment? What about that lad in the back? Did he get any refreshment? No. Well, let's bring him some. By all means. Isn't that your job? She left her ticket. I gotta bring it to her. Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna get us all in trouble. Oh no! The ticket! I have to get it back. Why couldn't they have just checked that before? Press up on the control pad to go through a door. Okay. Okay, oh, tell him. I bet you that uh, door would have hurt me if I touched it. Hmm. How do I get there? Oh, well, duh. You can use the ladder. Why is that not even secured either? Oh, pfft, you fucks. Okay, let's see what else is over here. Let me guess, the oven is going to scorch me alive. So how was everyone else's day anyway? What did you guys get up to? Why would I ever need to pull this? Oh, what the frick? There wasn't even anything there. So that door was, or that box is useless. You also gotta like, when you're getting ready to crawl, 
You have to hold down quite a while before the crawl actually registers. Oh, great. Work from home and depressed and stuff for today's work. Yeah, I'm seeing the theme here is all work related. Same with me. Well, I guess we can use this box to get the other two items. What the? What was that with that box? It just materialized. What's this? A toy chest! I wonder what's inside! Stand in front of the toy chest, press off the control pad, open it, and find out. A magic wand! Now you're completely safe from harm, but only for a short while. And it makes her jacket yellow. Apparently yellow makes you immune to damage. Wow, it didn't last long at all. Couldn't give me enough time with that. Also, I wonder if I was if I should have just gone to the other door. Like in here. Yeah, this way looks less dangerous. And there's another extra life. So it was worth it. Well, at least the weekend's coming. I don't know what I'm gonna do for it. I'll just take it easy. Does this replenish every time? Oh, it does! So even though I just got a one, you can get another one. Oh no! Just a pair of socks, that's no good at all. Hey, don't go knocking socks. Like, we're gonna be out here in this pretty cold night. We're gonna need plenty of socks. Besides, I might get a sugar rush from eating all these floating candy canes. Oh, no secrets behind there. Okay, now we made it to... Oh, I guess epis there was only one one, but there was no one two? Okay. Oh, we're just thrust straight into the action. Alright, well, you can call it action. supposed to get this. Oh! I thought that was a wall. Okay. I can work with this. It's named DuckTales? Okay, I guess, you know, it could be just like that in PAL regions. Like, multiple games have, like, different names based on the region. There we go. 
this socks again? A pogo stick. Press the A button as you hit the ground to bounce even higher. Drop the pogo stick by pressing the L button. Okay. Oh, and you just drop it automatically because it's kind of useless beyond here. I don't know if I can get used to the pogo stick mechanic in this game. Hopefully I don't have to use it too much. I bet you I do. Alright, might as well get all this stuff. Well, I nearly freeze it freeze to death. God damn it. What was down here? It's locked! There must be a switch around here somewhere. Oh really? Oh, it's called quack attack. Oh, okay. This probe's frozen solid. Try using the pogo stick to break through. Well, I would have if you didn't take it from me instantly. I'm hitting the A button. It's not hold the A button, is it? What? It says I have to, like, hit the button at the right time. If I hold the jump button. No. When are you supposed to hit it? Is it, like, as soon as you hit the ground? No! I know I need the pogo stick to break the ice. But where are you supposed to press A to keep bouncing? Because it goes away immediately. I don't get it. When are you supposed to press the A button? Does anybody know? Like, what is the right time to be pressing the A button? L just drops it instantly and you don't get another one. There's also, like, no tutorial when you go into the pause menu. Oh, just keep tapping the jump button? Is that it? Oh, it's on impact, I guess. The switch on the floor here must open a door or gate somewhere nearby. Try pushing a box onto it so that it'll stay open. Okay, I kind of want to get off. Thank you. Now it works. God, that was so awkward to get to work. Well, at least we got it now. That did not feel good to do. This will get people to hate Christmas if they had to play this. Oh well. 
guess I'm almost near the end of the stage. Getting that many candy canes is a surefire sign. Okay, good. Temporary invincibility. With slow crawling, you gotta do it right at the beginning of it. Why does it have to end there? Why couldn't you just put that after the crawling? You don't really get to avoid all the the hazards then. It'll go out. Episode 3 1. Here we go. You got on in Chicago. I don't believe I punched your ticket. I left it right here on the seat, but it's gone. Are you saying you've lost your ticket? I'll need you to come with me, young lady. You know what's gonna happen to her, don't you? He's gonna throw her off the train. <coughs> the ticket! There it is! Wait! Where'd they go? What happened to them? Look! She's in big trouble! Help me! The roof! Well, look at what we have here! What can I do for you? I'm looking for this girl! I've got her ticket! Well, what do you know? A genuine, authentic, official ticket to ride! Where's my manners? Sit down. Take a load off. Have a cup of joe. I'm a kid. Um, no thanks. Okay, okay. Let's go find that dame. We have to get to the engine before we reach Flat Top Tunnel. Because there's only a one inch clearance between the top of this here train and Flat Top Tunnel. Hold on. One inch clearance? <laughs> That's what the ladies call me. Wait, never mind. You've got to safely reach the front of the train before it gets to Flat Top Tunnel. Oh no, it's a race, isn't it? Look out for hazards. Press the A button to jump. Press down on the control pad to duck. Oh, it's gonna be an auto-scroller. Well, no, what hazard I can duck. That one. Well, don't put the candy canes there, you want to get hit then, you shit game! Why would you do that? It doesn't look like you can move faster or slower, either. Okay, so pretty much only the first half of this level kind of sucked. Because of that stuff, see? Hope you don't have to get all the candy canes if you die. I'm one hit away from it. Oh, he could get them, so I don't have to jump. Good thing he's tall. We made it before a girl got murdered. Oh, oh dear. This one has 90 candy canes. Oof. But I thought you were thrown. You're driving the train? They put me in charge. They had to go check the light. Isn't that great? But how do you... Do you know how? It's easy. Here, I'll show you. This big lever here is the throttle. This little one is the brake. These are the pressure gauges. 
Oh dear. Shouldn't you do something? I am! This is what they told me to do. Are you sure? Look at what you've done to our train! I... I... I just turned those things! Just like you said! Together? Huh? Together! You have to turn them together! But how could I? I was all alone! What about him? So you kids could drive her now. The way we showed you how. Together! What the... Steer the Polar Express safely to its destination, avoiding hazards and dead ends. By pressing left or right on the control stick as you come to a junction, try to collect as many candy canes as you can along the way by choosing the right path. Oh dear. Well, at least they're very visible. So all I, all I need to do is, is left or right. Make sure I switch lanes at the correct time. Well, that shouldn't be... Oh, no, don't, don't switch lanes yet. I almost did. Now I gotta switch. Why are there so many dead-end tracks, anyway? Who put them there? What purpose would they serve? Ah. Oh! Come on! How was I supposed to know you got it at that angle? I missed a few. That's the worst kind of angle to have for it. Oh wow, I, I guessed correctly on that one. there's anything special for getting all the candy canes in the entire game. I'm just gonna assume it's not important. Alright, episode 5-1. There's something on the tracks! Stop the train! Stop the train! Pull the brake! He told me this one's the brake. Who told you? The engineer! Are you sure? Stop the train! Here goes! All clear now? That's more like it. All ahead slow! Jumpin' jeepers! The copper pin sheared off! Tell the engineer to slow down! Slow down! Huh? What? They can't hear me! I don't like the look of this. We gotta find that cotter pin! Oh, great. Well, at least I'm not- Whoa, 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 uh, I- Alright, well, I'm a kid that got cremated alive. But somehow that only did one damage. So only one of my hearts has disintegrated. Yo, this is kind of dangerous for a kid to be doing. There, on the wall, a switch. When it's green, a nearby door or gate will be opened. Neato. I guess I'll be doing that a lot in this level. Oh, is that the door I could have gone to? I guess so. What if I keep going this way? What? That hurts you too? Oh, okay, don't do the long jump. Oh! <laughs> the invincibility that I could have used earlier. Get the checkpoint. Oh. That's not good. It's not very stable. 
Okay, it does grow back. It's like stem cells. <laughs> Oh. Ah, oh, damn. Where am I going? Beyond there, it seems. This is like all... What all the bad boys and girls and non-binaries get for Christmas. Just all this. Huh? Saw blades. I can't seem to get up there yet. I'm gonna do it from this way. It looks like I just leave the level right now, but I might as well get all this. Down here. Oh! The HUD actually blocks the icicles. Not a stellar bit of game design, video game. So I only got 29. What the hell was number 30? I must have walked past it. Yeah. Well, leave it alone. Alright, five two. Still haven't found that pin yet either. Oh wait a minute. If I hit restart, what happens? Okay, it also resets the the life I would have gotten. I thought I could just use that to cheese my way through. No, you can't. You can only hope that there isn't anything mandatory that I need to get by collecting every candy cane in the game. There too. It's kind of evil. Okay, I need to find a switch to be able to open that. Okay, you don't have to press a button to pull a lever, it does it on its own. Huh? Wait. Did it close? Or is there another lever I need to get to? Oh no. It's timed. What the shit, video game? Now we have to deal with timed switches. Also, some of the coal is actually smoldering. What do we got here? Oh, thank God it's not the pogo stick again. I don't think my psyche can handle the pogo stick again. Oh! Took flames right to the face? I didn't need my eyeballs anyway. Oh, oh. Oh, but I didn't miss anything. Pretty sure I got all the- oh. The only thing I'm missing is my freedom. I might need that. Oh! So anybody 
here. I know I never seen it. But has anybody here ever seen the Polar Express movie? And if you did, what did you think of it? Is it any good or is it just kind of meh? Alright, Karasad and liked it. That's cool. Maybe it actually is an okay movie. Maybe the 3D version of this game is better. Hey there, Resurgement. Good to see you. Only saw the memes. There were probably not many memes of Polar Express except for that kid with the glasses. Oh wait, maybe don't climb up yet. Cause that's why. You have a pleasant family and then always have- Yeah, you already told us that. You had to put something there that encouraged me to stick around. Alright, do it again. Go, 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 go. Ooh, that was close. That shut right on my ass, too. Now, the theory of the time of the family is torn between Polar Express and The Incredibles. You said The Incredibles? I don't know, I, I, The Incredibles is a good movie. Alright, Box, I need you. Do your duty. I mean, so far, this game's kind of mid, but it's not terrible yet. Pogo Stick was, like, still, like, the worst part, but once you know how to do it, it's like, alright, just mash A, and there you go. You did it. Doesn't make it any better, but you can do it. I would say it would be an irritation to try to complete, though. Like, maybe to play it's okay, but if you try to get everything, it might be a little more jarring. Like, you gotta keep me sucked in before I get bored. If that makes any sense. Which I'm sure it does. Is this even the right way? I don't know. Hey. You coming? Okay, one thing I really don't like about this level is that these platforms move very, very slow. So if you miss your ride, you're waiting an eternity just to move on. Is it safe to drop down there? Yes. I keep thinking this game's gonna start introducing bottomless pits. You know, like jumping off the train. Okay, I can't even leave the level yet. Wait, is there an easy way to get back up? Is this gonna help? No, it isn't! I needed to get an invincibility so I could grab a one-up that had no hazards in the way at all. What the fuck? What was the point of that? I 
that's what the box is for, to get up there. Apparently found your choice questionable? Why? So what? You can watch whatever you like. Okay, so this is the way to get back up there. I went in reverse. Oh, I need you. I'm gonna go find that other bell. Well, why are you going away? You can't go away yet. Sucks. Can you imagine, like, uh, living in this game's universe and the way to give yourself a free chance is to collect your own disembodied head? Imagine how weird that would be. Mario didn't have that issue, he only just needs to get green mushrooms with eyes. It's a lot less creepy. Okay, now I can exit the level. Oh, oh. Hang on, I know there was a candy cane over on the right side. I want to be able to get that. Just in case. Padding, everybody. That's what we're doing. We're doing padding. Hydras might do that as a pastime. Oh, God. Beautiful. The head doesn't look like yours, thought you were collecting random doll heads. Who knows, I might be. Okay, there's another one that requires 90, so I gotta steer the train again. Didn't like Sherlock Holmes? Well, that's too bad. I've got it! You've got it! Oof. Wait, I lost it. You lost it? Is everything alright? What should we do? Well, the train seems to be accelerating uncontrollably, and we are rapidly approaching Glacier Gulch. It just happens to be the steepest downhill grade in the entire world. I suggest we all hold on. Tightly! What if I hold on loosely? Just to spite you. Oh no. Now sometimes you might have three tracks to have to manage. Okay, so one was for Candy Canes and the other was for health. Huh? I'm dead! Oh my god, it resets all your Candy Canes too! Why? Why does it do that? What's the point of health then? I missed. Wow, you have to switch quickly! Holy shit! They don't even give you a chance! Your 
hearts also get reduced before taking your life? Yeah, like, that doesn't make any sense. I guess it's only for barriers that don't go off a track completely. For which there are some like that. But the majority of them are dead end, so you just die anyway. Oh, I should have switched. I can't wait for them to introduce dead ends that would have been impossible to see. So you can't react to them. Alright, so once again I go through a level where I miss some candy canes. Episode 7-1. That's got it! <coughs> Young man, time for us to head back. And you, miss, you better get to shoveling coal. I'll come back for you once we arrive at the North Pole. But why does she have to stay here? She has to work for her passage. Holy smokes, I forgot! I found your ticket! Oh my goodness, thank you! Okay then, both of you. Let's get back to the passenger car. Uh, that better not be the passenger car. The forsaken and the abandoned. It makes me want to cry. Seeing toys treated this way. And these are the lucky ones. Why are they here? It's a new concept Santa came up with. Instead of throwing them away, he has them collected. The elves refurbish them. He calls it re-bicycling or something like that. Yeah, that's not creepy at all, isn't it? Whoop. Gather carefully and wisely. <laughs> Losing a couple lives in that previous level was not fun. So I'll have to make up for it somehow. Oh, this is gonna be a maze. Oh, I don't like the looks of this at all. <sighs> the oldest trick in the book, a falling chandelier that arbitrarily falls the moment you walk by it. As if we've never seen that before in a video game, ever. Oh, I need to find another way to get over there. Might be over this way. Wait, how the hell would I fight back? Yes, you can't? Hold on. Oh! A balloon! Hold on tight as you float upwards. Press left or right of the control pad to control your ascent. Press the L button to release the balloon and return to the ground. Okay, you cannot press A to jump right off. Hurry up! Perfect. Whoa! That almost hit me. What the hell? Where do I go now? Oh, 
Getting a little maze-like now. What if the door wasn't actually timed? They just made you panic over nothing. I can see the game doing that. It now it makes you all paranoid. So like, hey, can I go through here? Oh, I can't go through there? What about over here? I pass. I think I walked back. No, not back here. Ow. Nope, that's the way out. Ow. Oh, well, I haven't gone this way yet, so we'll do that now. Okay, there we go. There's more over here. I might as well check this first. It's a good thing I did, too. <laughs> Could you imagine if you pulled the box with the back to the wall and then you just die from crushing yourself? Again. They're all purple too. So I'm with purple socks. He thinks video games are being a little preachy. Wait a minute, which way was the exit to? Shit, now I don't remember. I know it was through one of the doors, and maybe it was, like, left? Actually, I think it might be past here. There it is. Yeah! Why couldn't it be bright red or even blue? What, what do you mean by they? Are these levels the same train? <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. Oh. Up. Oh. Oh, you didn't give me much of a chance there, video game. Here's the invincibility for after the hazards. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, the socks. I'm more of like, oh, white socks or gray socks or black socks kind of guy. I don't know if I ever want to wear like red or blue socks. A paddle and ball. Press the B button as the ball hits the paddle to make it bounce even further. Try knocking down those clockwork robots with the ball. Drop the paddle by pressing the L button. Okay, it only knocks them down, but they don't die. I see how it works. Oh, hold on. We need this. Most of not all my socks are character socks. Like, what kind of characters? Mine are pretty generic. But they keep my feet warm, so that's good enough for me. What? 
but I was... Oh my god, I thought that was gonna kill me right there. Am I even going the right way at all? I'm just gonna get another embodied head. Disembodied head. Might as well grab it. I could use it. Oh, Mario, South Park, Looney Tunes. That's a random combination there, but whatever works for you. Whoa. Almost overextended. I'm here like a chandelier for my troubles. Okay, there's the exit right there, but I only got one of the bells. I'm not a fan of that car. I was turning up at the worst place. Oh, this robot again. Oh, I need something to pull that pull that button down. This'll do. How high up does this car go? That high. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, that's probably the only way I can get over there. Get away! This obvious stupid robot. It is the time of man, not you. That's right, you better surrender for good. Oh, it's actually tipped over on its side. I didn't think I could do that. Go get that candy cane and that extra life as well. Speaking of toys, I need to. Re Dude, you might as well keep some surprises to yourself, man. for the PlayStation, isn't it? Oh, I gotta backtrack. Ah, oh, damn. That's five more of these candy canes, too. Now I gotta find where exactly I've never been yet. It's not up here. Down here, maybe? I think there was a door I didn't go through. Was it this one? It was this one. No! You back away. You add DC superhero socks and start to get holes in them? Sounds like they're movies. With holes. <laughs> Okay, there is the final bell that I need. You. You need to fall. Up 
paddle you in the back of the head for all I care. Up! Get that robot execution style. Damn it! Keep hitting the worst timing for that. Alright, I'm out. I'm nearly dead, but I'm happy. This is only 7 3 now. Man, this game's gonna bite me in the ass if it turns out I did need all the candy canes to beat the game. Alright, save that for later. I'm not a fan of levels that don't make it crystal clear where exactly you gotta go to make progress and which pets are optional. Because sometimes you'll just end up skipping a lot of stuff, and then you find out what you skipped was mandatory. Maybe they do it in that way to, to let you scout the levels ahead of time. Then again, maybe I'm talking out of my own ass. Wouldn't be the first time. They gave you a lot of coffee or hot chocolate for areas that are kind of bereft of enemies, except for that one. area over here is way too dangerous. I think they'd have done something with the lights. But no, they have not. And nearly every level, or every area in this level, just looks exactly the same. That's the part I'm not a fan of. Too many areas just look so alike. That it's easy to get lost in. Oh, that's a permanent switch. Okay, so two bells are accounted for. One up there, and there's one on the platforms to the left. No info with candy canes is probably just an optional collectible. Maybe extra content. So it might be pointless if you get nothing for it. Well, there's the way out. I'm still missing one. Good to see you. He just walks in and just like, finally beat River City Girls yesterday, as if anybody asked. <laughs> but how'd you find, how'd you like it anyway? Was it good? Better than the first one? Did you play the first one? I'm pretty sure you did. Hmm. 
Oh, there's no bell here. We gotta go back. Still getting Illinois with Google Sports? There's a Google... Sp oh, probably to look up sports scores, I guess. up here. This is not where I need to go. Wait, where was the door for this lever? Oh, I, I pulled that. Oh shit, now I'm lost. Is there really nothing else here? Yeah, I think there was nothing else here. What a... What a bunch of weirdness. I'm gonna look up here one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm really gonna have to backtrack to near the beginning of the level. There's stuff up there. Hold on. Probably can't reach that, can you? No. No way Detroit Lions didn't get in, but Hometown Seahawks did. Oh, hey there, Altair. Good to see you. I wasn't paying too much attention to the uh, football. Usually I wait for the playoffs to start before I do. Let's just go back to the beginning of the level. Maybe the door I'm looking for is up high. Sucks so much right now. Oh dear. I was supposed to remember you gotta go back there. When you got levers that open doors that are so far away from where you crank the lever, that's a little frustrating. Like, you expect me to have a really good memory video game? Most people that play the Polar Express probably don't have that great of a memory. Oh no, we gotta... we gotta do a train section again. Pirate's Curse is the best one? Original Shantae is worse? I think Pirate's Curse is one I got for free through GOG. Five minutes till Christmas! We just made it. The elves! Where are the elves? Gathering at the center of the city. For one of you lucky children will receive the first gift of Christmas. Excuse me? What about him? He's decided to stay on the train. No one is required to see Santa. Come on! Click. Look, you have to come with us. She's right. Christmas just doesn't work out for me. Never has. Look, I don't know if Christmas is going to work out for you. But I do know, you can't stay here by yourself. Yes, come with us. We'll go together. What's that? I think we're moving. 
Hold on! Oh no. We gotta do all this again. Hope you can look at pixels very carefully so you know where to go to not die. I was on the right lane. Whoop. Did I ever hit a check when I heard that da-da? Does that mean you would get a halfway point in a level? Or is it one of those levels where it's like, you have to- Oh no, it's, it's health I got, not a checkpoint. Conveniently enough, this city has enough tracks. Beautiful. Alright, episode 9-1. Classic Hugo games of the train? I never played any Hugo Hugo games. That's like a European IP, isn't it? Wait! The emergency brake! Nothing happened! It's no good! What about the manual brake? <laughs> Why does it look like he's stopping the train with his own body? Now what? Listen, hear that? That bell. Bell? What bell? A sleigh bell. Can't you hear it? It's coming from that tunnel. That's the way we should go. Come on. Oh, we're actually not on the train anymore. One place we've been forever. We can finally leave. Hold on, what's over this way? Invincibility. I thought the game was gonna be like, oh, you stood on spikes, that don't count. practical reason to have saw blades on a random street. Like, what are they even for? Maybe Santa's a sociopath, I never knew. Can you keep your invincibility after you go through a door? Yes, you can. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, don't do a long jump. Santa doesn't want kids in his domain. <laughs> He's like, don't come to me, I'll come to you. Oh. Okay, well this works. I thought I could just keep going and just glitch gravity. Uh oh. I can't use this ladder. Maybe I don't need to? Oh, I see what the ladder's for. Or what the 
box is for. Is requesting European game only games okay? Oh yeah, they're fine. There's no... Could you imagine if I put a rule that says like, only North American games? Like, there have been Japanese games that have been requested, so European only should be fine. In fact, you requested a Japanese only game. So I think that would be kind of weird for me to just go, Oh, Japanese games are fine, but European games are not. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, I don't know how much more is left to this game. Like, I should be at well over the halfway point by now. I like to think I am. What does this even do? You know what? I don't think I need more than 20 lives. So that head can stay there in purgatory forever. Oh, are you kidding me? You can't ledge grab on platforms. Did I play Japan-only games for you? No. You've requested Japanese games. That's what I said. And I didn't reject them. Whoop. Whoop. Wait. If that's everything, what is this door for? Oh, it just lets you back here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's pick a door level. I hope you choose correctly. Claustrophobia, either. Can you imagine having something like that and then you have to crawl in such a tight space like this? Oh. I chose incorrectly. Apparently, the first door from the left is the last one you need to go through. And learned. Ah! Well, that hurt. Is it cold in Newfoundland Labrador as it is here? I don't know if it's as cold as over there. It's minus eight degrees Celsius. At least that's what it was earlier today. It's probably colder now that it's nighttime. Alright, let's go on to the next door. Oh, let me guess. Up! Ah! I was too preoccupied with the, uh... The icicles, I didn't see the saw blade. Oh, 
Okay, that seems simple enough. We're gonna get zero degrees in the next week for some reason. Wouldn't that some reason be this little thing called winter? In the Northern Hemisphere. So I'm pretty sure there's a good reason why I'd be around zero degrees Celsius. Cold as night of the year here? I mean, the year is only, what, 12 days old. Hold on, where'd the box go? Over there? Okay. Putting the candy canes behind boxes, anyway. What a weird thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I got bells. Huh? I'm at twenty nine. Well, that was number thirty. Must have abandoned it. Hold on, what if I look? Oh, never mind. I thought I'd be like in the upper left of this area. I'm just gonna assume that their use is not too crucial. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Alright, 9 3. Which way I should go to first? We'll try the high ground. Was that the best idea? I don't feel it was. It doesn't look like there was any candy canes up there. Pogo stick. I don't think I'll need that here. Oh. Well, I found the exit. Too bad I can't go anywhere near it. That's a milk. That, that's like a puzzle game, isn't it? Probably the weirdest name ever. It doesn't have anything to do with nuts, and it doesn't have anything to do with milk either. Like, that should just be a grocery list, not the title of a game. It's not even food related at all. Come on, do your thing, thank you. Not a game about milking nuts. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they call it nut milk and not nut juice. 
which would be way worse. That would get the ESRB rating found early. Oh, that's mean placement for Candy Cane's video game. Like, just right in the window, hoping I wouldn't be able to see it. Ow. Well, that's kind of mean, isn't it? But I suppose right there. Uh, I'm gonna go left first. Oops. Shouldn't have grabbed that. Okay, it seems there's a lot more shit over here. Oop. My opinion on point and click games are alright. As long as they're on PC and not on console. Point and click genre is not great for console. I mean, I owned a point and click game back in the day. Wasn't able to finish it though. Because I accidentally softlocked myself. Um, it was called Return to Zork. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. But it was based on like, a franchise. That was originally, like, a text-based adventure game. And it does have plenty of fail states. One thing that I accidentally did... ...was I threw a vial... ...away. And you need that vial... ...to be able to drink an invisibility potion. And because I accidentally threw it away and I can never find it again, you can't get an invisibility potion, and you cannot make it past the guard of the final area. And I didn't have any saves prior to that. King's Quest is requestable? I mean, if you can get it to work, if I can get it to work... Games can get pretty lengthy, however, if you don't know what you're doing. Plus, isn't there, like, some King's Quest games that actually have, like, some DRM? Such as, you need to know, like, what is on the instruction manual or whatever. To be able to do it. Could be misremembering. Okay, so now I gotta walk all the way back to the beginning of the level. Isn't that great? <coughs> I think I'm fine if I go this way, right? Yes. Yeah. Day of the Tentacle out of DRM some blueprint? Okay. I think the DOS version of the Lost Vikings also had that too. Look! Yeah, I know about the NES version of King's Quest V. That's the first one I ever tried out. They just finished the last present. What's... What's the routing? Going to the States! Grand Rapids, Michigan! That's my town! What are they doing? Shrooped! That's amazing! Let's go! There! What? Listen! The bell! 
What bell? I can't hear. It's the metal one. Are you sure? Shoop! We're off! Hang on! Huh? Uh oh. Hyper Oh my god. There are lots of other things he would like. And I'm not. Oh! Okay? You're supposed to memorize when you're supposed to go there. Thanks, game! I didn't want all those candy canes anyway. Oh no. You don't get enough time to know where the right way is. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Memorization! Have fun! Okay, I think we found the strat. Okay, this one might be fine. That, that may not be as viable as I thought. I thought if I just pause, I would give myself time to know where I'm supposed to head to. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Why would Santa have a whole bunch of tubes that just don't go anywhere? Like, shouldn't you get that fixed? Yeah, don't even bother to get all the candy canes in this level, because this level sucks. No, that's the... F that's where I died the first time. Good thing I amassed all those lives. They were preparing you for this. Yep, it, it's memorization. The worst kindization. And there's no checkpoints. You have to do it all on one go. This must have been designed by two different teams. Like, the first team was okay, and then the second team was just the sadist team. Like, the kind of people that hate kids. And gamers in general. Okay, I finally made it farther than before. Oh, don't put it on a curve when I had to rely on depth perception. No! <laughs> Cognitive catastrophe, this can be, I know, right? Hey there, Anubis. Good to see you. Halfway through the level, there was still no checkpoint. Oh, this game could fuck right off already. At what point did they decide this was a good idea? Time I did fuck up there. 
Right, that's it. We're using save states on this level because this game calls for it. If the game doesn't want to put checkpoints in, I'll put my own checkpoints in there. I will make your game better for you, THQ. Actually, they're not the developers. Nope, nope, I'm mulliganing that shit right now. I go to scratch my nose and I almost got myself killed. Uh. No! That was a bad save, was it? No, it's fine. Was just candy canes. I don't care for that. I prefer the fruit flavor candy canes. Oh, I almost fucked up. <sighs> that wasn't even the last level either. All right, eleven one. It's no good! None of these buttons work! It won't go any further! Maybe there's another way out! Can you hear that bell? No? I say we follow the wrapping paper! Invincibility? Oh, just protect me from that. And that. It. Oh, can I get up there? Yes, I can. Ooh. Let me go up here first. Before I keep going more to the right. See, I liked it better when the levels were more of a discombobulated mess rather than a... Oh, you didn't memorize the level, so you die! Get fucked, kid. Like, you think that would have been the last level of the game, and it's not. Somehow there is more. <laughs> the game knew. Well, they give you so many lives in such a short period of time. It's like, oh, yeah, that, that previous level kind of sucked, didn't it? Here you go. We're gonna give you a few gimmies. Oh, no. The Edward Scissors hand trap. Johnny Depp was here. Sad time for us all. Guessing I need to bring this box all the way to the bottom. Yes, I do. Hey there, Tony. Good to see you. At least you showed up after the most dreadful level in the entire game. I think it sucks for it. This should be the game, the puzzle platforming sections. Most of it is puzzle platforming sections. All right, eleven two. We 
faster, you damn elf. Pizza from Little Caesars, that sounds good. I've only had Little Caesars once. And it's mostly because if I'm craving pizza, the first thing on my mind is not Little Caesars. But like, it's good if you don't want to spend a lot of money. And still get enough pizza to carry you over for probably the rest of the day. mostly a climb, isn't it? I guess until you get to here. Aha! That's what I needed for. You again. Move your ass. Oh no, that's where the exit is. I have no bells. This should kill you instantly. It's up to my head. Oh, I don't want to go back up. Huh? Oh no, now I gotta climb all the way up there again. This better be a balloon. Okay, we're fine. And how the hell is this balloon lip propelling me upward if it's my own air? It's not even helium. <sighs> Magic balloons. That's where you don't have to explain anything. Had to suffer through those in Legend of Prince Valley, and I mean, a lot of games have one hit KO traps. There was this VTuber that I was watching, and she was doing, um, Legend of Prince Valiant, because it was a request for, uh, Platform Again, where she goes through a whole bunch of action platformers in, like, the, uh, 8 and 16-bit era. And one of the games was Legend of Prince Valiant, and one of the ways she died, which I didn't even know was possible, like, during that section where you had to take down a whole bunch of archers, you could run out of time. That section had a freaking time limit. Which seems kind of dumb, but it has it. I forgot the scissors were still there. Still gotta find the remaining bells. Where the hell are they? Oh, there's one. This 
this level is a little too convoluted to get around. One game that has a time limit you can manage? What game is that? Ah! Okay, it doesn't instantly kill you. This kid can handle scissors, but not fucking up on luge. Oh, Super Mario World? Well, that's piss easy anyway. God, I still remember my Let's Play of Yume Penguin Monogatari. Or Monogatari. And... I played, like, the, uh... An English patch of that of that game. And not the word of a lie, if you use an English patch, or at least the English patch they had available at the time, it might have been fixed by now. The game actually reduces the maximum of time you had for a stage. So if you played it in Japanese, the game was beatable. But if you played the uh, English translation, it was not. Which kind of boggles the mind, if you think about it. Oh, wow! So being a- you're actually able to take four hits, instead of just three. You made Penguin Monogatari? Uh, it's about a, uh, penguin that's trying to win over another penguin. I'm dead. Alright, what happens now? They take all your bells? Oh no. Oh my god, it's because I hit the checkpoint before I touched a single one! But I only found bells after I hit the checkpoint. So if you pass by the same checkpoint, it doesn't overwrite. Oh, that is sadist as fuck. I think there's a full- yeah, that, that's what I was saying. The English patch was why I couldn't beat the game at first. I don't know if it's been updated since then, though. Because it was the late 2000s that I played it. The second bell was somewhere on the right. I shouldn't have to do all this shit again. Like, why couldn't it just overwrite the checkpoint? I feel that was a design choice that developers really did not consider at all. Like somehow they just didn't think this would be an issue. They thought it would be no problem, but only for people that are not... You know... Insane. But I digress. Game looks even creepier in pixel art. 
Hey there, the Freeman. Good to see you. I can handle creepy. I cannot handle crappy. And this game definitely has some crappy moments to it. Such as now having to collect everything that I need again. There'll be a reason to climb above this. But there is none. That's too bad. Because some points of this game look okay. Wait, was that never even a crest? Oh no. Oh no! That counted as two hits from the same drop. There was a Twitch version of that list. Funny enough, I don't even do a top 10 for or bottom 10 for Twitch. Because I find that I don't do as many games on YouTube compared to Twitch. Twitch is a lot. So it'll be hard to keep track of it all. Hold on, let me double check something. What's over here? If I fall all the way to the bottom, okay, no, there's no bell. Oh, there was a patch that fixed it, okay. I figure they would put a patch there. Because they probably would have been chewed up like crazy in the uh, reviews on uh, ROM hacking. There's the third bell. That was one of the buttons that I had to press down. Hurry up! I need to leave! This out video game. Oh no, I gotta wait for this dickhead. Good riddance. Eleven three. There's another but ah, watch it. There's another factory level. Whoa. I don't know if you know this or not, but apparently YouTube won't allow newer videos with swearing these days. YouTube is okay with swearing as long as it's not within, say, the first two minutes of the video. I find that after a while, YouTube just doesn't bother to check afterwards. If people say, like, if you have, like, a 20-minute video and you don't swear until the 19th minute and YouTube cl clamps down on it, half the time that's just scaremongering. Where YouTube doesn't overreact that much. Because I haven't run into that problem yet. Oh, 
Oh, I can move this box over here because I can just deal with the scissor trap. I find that most of the time that the people that have to deal with like the uh, swearing on YouTube moderation nowadays are people that are usually the most angriest of them all. And they only create the video just to generate like anger clicks. Like I'm mad about this show. Because it's too this kid's show is too kiddy for me. You know what I mean? Or like this show is ruined because it has a woman on it. Blah blah blah. And you know they're not gonna do that kind of video without swearing a single time. Cause they're just too mad. Right, what did that open? Oh, over here. They missed the gore, my little pony. Oh, God. Or, like, pregnant Elsa. <laughs> it's like, tell your kids to unalive themselves in Roblox. I actually don't tell your kids to do that. Who would complain about Arthur intended to be about kids? Uh, Alabama did? Because of the Mr. Ratburn wedding? <laughs> oh, the socks again. the checkpoint. Well, I got two bells. So I think I can do that. Wait, there are incest Arthur memes? Why'd you have to put that evil on me? I never knew that was even a thing. And now I never want to know that again. This level is going a lot better than the previous one did. Oh, right, this shit again. Where did I see the door? Did I ever see the door? Wait. Why did the boxes reset? That one didn't. I thought there were others that moved. Sonic the Hedgehog's now labels for kids only. I never ran into that problem. I have some Sonic Let's Plays that haven't been marked as for kids.
I think it's mostly because I've avoided the YouTube brain rot of some things being marked for kids when they shouldn't be. Starting Monday next week, 5 p.m. Eastern start time is going to be the normal for start times, yes. I wanted to like an earlier start time so I had more things to do in the evening and it would give me more flexibility to stream later if I need to. Or for longer. Alright, 12 1. Hey, that present! It's going to my town! To someone named Billy! My. My name is Billy! 11344 Edbrook Avenue! That's my address! Alright, we dox the kid. It's about to disappear into that hole! I've gotta get it! Couldn't you wait until it was delivered to your house? Wait! Look out! Okay, this actually looks... better! Better than the luge. You might still be able to fall off, but that's if you're greedy enough to go for the candy canes. Oh! Why did I grab health that I didn't even need? Okay, that's just my fault. <laughs> Like the Super Mario 64 slide. Yeah, except you can't make yourself go faster or slower, and you can't jump. Yeah, this is much easier to get past than the luge. For sure. At least you can see your turns well ahead of time. Which is a very weird design choice that this is coming up after. Just a bunch of junk piles. Hope that slide is greased up, otherwise my back is gonna be Peeled wide open. Oh my god. I feel like slides like this, like metal slides, are probably something you would see in a thousand ways to die. Like say if there was like a cut or along the metal and you all slice yourself in half. I feel like that would have been a thing somewhere. Yeah. I did it! Wait, there's another level! 13-1. It says, do not open until Christmas. Those are the rules. Wait a minute. We're in the sack of presents. It's starting to move. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Something's got me. It's got my leg. I can't hold him. Give us your other hand. I can't. I knew it. What are you doing here? Same as you. Checking out my Christmas presents. I want to make sure I'm getting everything on my list. Look! You may start your descent anytime now. At your convenience, of course. Look! It's still five minutes to midnight! We're gonna make it! Of course we will! We got plenty of time! You know what? I don't think we're gonna make it! With us in the present sack, it's too heavy! 
Altitude, please. A bit more altitude, please. Look out! Look out! Oh no. What is this? The Zeppelin is too heavy. Press the A button to help it gain more altitude. Press left or right in the control pad to make it speed up or slow down. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be this, huh? Avoid the chimneys, rooftops, and steeples of North Pole City and watch out for thunderclouds! Hey! It's Christmas Flappy Bird! But boneless! Oh! I touched the uh, steeple, didn't I? That's what it was. At least the- Ow! My hitbox is pretty wide. This and not bell finding, so it won't be so bad. Oh, hear it. Thank you. Ah, son of a bitch. Breed for candy canes is getting me hurt. Freaking clouds from Bart's Nightmare. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, there we go. I think I missed a couple candy kids anyway, so it don't matter. one. The bell! Isn't that the most beautiful sound? I can't hear it. Santa! He's here! He's here! I see him! Yes! The bell! Yes! I can hear it! I believe. What was that you said? I... I believe. I believe this is yours. Why, thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Me? You. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed! The first gift of Christmas. This bell is a wonderful symbol of the spirit of Christmas. Better keep that in a safe place. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Cobnet, on Cupid, on Thunder and Blitzen. This is exactly how I dreamed it would be. Could all... Could all of this be nothing but a dream? No. To the top of the roof. To the top of the wall. To the sweat drip from my balls. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Oh, I ruined it. Now dash away. Dash away. Dash away all. Yippee! Ah, yes. The boy with all the questions. My ticket! It says... It's nothing I need to know. Only you do. Believe. <laughs> the Polar Express. The end! <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be like, Let's not show the credits. I did it! I finally beat the game! That went a little longer than I thought it would. Only because it was like a handful of levels that were just annoying. One that was just downright abysmal. The rest of it, it wasn't too bad. I would say a little... Like, on the best part of it, might be a bit... Dull? 
but not bad. And then there are some parts that are bad. Hold on, let's see what what's gonna happen like after the credits. I only had to say stay rewind a few times. Yeah, it's very few times I needed to. So it wasn't because it was hard. It was just because it was just tiring. Well, it's better than the Grinch. I was able to beat this. Interesting game, if it ever was one. It's not gonna make the GBA look very powerful. There are other games that can do that. But you, you can play way worse on the GBA, for sure. Way worse. In fact, one of the games on the retro list already was worse than this and was also on the GBA. So let's take a look at some of the like the bad and the worst ones. One on the SNES. Another one on the GBA wasn't the worst one. One on the arcade was also bad. Another one on the SNES was bad. One on the GBA was the absolute worst. One on the Famicom was bad, and one on the NES was bad, and one on the Super Nintendo was bad. Okay, for anybody that's looking at the retro list, the ones that are confirmed that I'll be playing or are on the stream queue, I highlighted in red text. That way I don't miss them. Funny was also a Christmas game, you played this after December. Funny how that works. I right, speed this up, because this will... This game didn't need that big of a team, did it? Alright. There we go. 